This is a video about finding and improving your Lexile level. So um, to find your Lexile level, you go up here um, to the Career Center. Um, this student has already chosen a career, so when they click here, they get a graph that shows um, how their Lexile level has changed over time. Um, for this demo student, um, they made an improvement um, last year from the months of January to February, and then um, their Lexile level has not increased. Um, if you don't see this chart um, when you click on the Career Center here, um, that's probably because you haven't chosen a career yet. So um, that person had chosen the career of teacher assistant, but let's say you want to work in the health sector, um, eventually, maybe you want to become um, a nurse. Um, so let's say we go to licensed practical and licensed vocational nurse, and we find careers. Um, that will also give you information about that career as well. Um, notice that they give a measure here. So it gives a description of that career. It gives the recommended goal Lexile level for that career and it shows where you are now compared to the goal um, for the career that you want to have in the future. So this shows this student that they need to keep growing, keep working on their reading skills. Um, and um, just to give you a little bit more context about what the Lexile level number means, um, here's a chart that can help. Um, so this is showing um, the different uh, some different categories of ESL level and how those compare to Lexile level ranges. So um, the ranges we might see in level 8 might be somewhere around 420 to 820, might be considered low intermediate, 740 to 940 high intermediate, and 925 um, to these upper levels might be in an advanced category as English language learners. Um, in level eight, um, your goal is to move from these categories of being an intermediate reader to being more of an advanced reader. Um, so we want everybody to be improving their Lexile level um, so that they're showing that they're becoming advanced readers. Um, I wanna give you a couple of tips on um, Spark 3000 or Achieve 3000 Literacy um, for how you can improve or Lexile level. So the first thing is um, how frequently you use the program. You should read about eight articles per month. Um, let, me let me repeat that. Um, our, your goal for using Spark 3000 is to read eight articles and do the activities with them um, each month. Um, we're making that a pretty ambitious goal because that's um, the target that we think will best allow you to improve your reading skills using this program. In addition to that, we want you to have a high quality of comprehension on those articles. So that means you want to be aiming for 75% or better on your first try activity score. That's how Spark calculates your Lexile level. Um, and each month, they will make adjustments to your Lexile level if you are reading enough articles and doing well or answering um, the questions at 75% or above. Again, only on your first try activity score. So Spark 3000 doesn't um, take into account your second try score um, if you get the question wrong on your first try but answer it correctly on the second time. So you want to read eight articles per month. You want to try to get 75% or better um, on your first try for each quiz question. And that might be difficult. So the next tip I want to give you is to ask for help. Um, as teachers, we are giving coaching sessions. And um, you can sign up with your teacher to get a coaching session, which means that we can spend some time um, through Zoom um, or in another way, reading a Spark article with you and giving you tips about how to answer the questions and improve your Lexile level. Um, and we can also um, pair you with a tutor 
if you're struggling with reading and feel you need additional support. So um, those are some of the ways um, that you want to be using Spark 3000 uh, to improve your Lexile level.